What's up guys, coming at you guys with another video here to talk about Guillermo Rigondeaux and Lomachenko and Rigondeaux did not show up at all now we're expecting that this fight to be a chess match with uh, pure skills and pretty much both of them uh, pretty sure a lot of us thought that they were just going to box all night I was really impressed uh, with the way that Guillermo Rigondeaux came, came out in the first round and I personally believe that he won that round but after that, it was all Lomachenko. I mean, you could argue that Lomachenko won the first round. But personally, I thought Rigo won that round. And, yo, we, we I don't know what happened, man. Guillermo Rigondeaux, basically, he quit. And, you know, it's kind of uh, awkward, or not awkward, but you know how uh, Lomachenko, you know, he's been fighting on ESPN lately. And, you know, he's been making a lot of his opponents quit. And I just find it, find it kind of weird because, you know, ESPN has those commercial breaks. And then I'm so excited for the next round to continue. And then when uh, they come back after the commercial breaks, they just show uh, Lomachenko as the victor, uh, him raising his hands. And I just thought that was kind of awkward. But, hey, that's, that's another topic. Lomachenko. Rigondeaux, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe at the end they showed the total percentage. And he only landed 15 shots, which is really not like uh, Rigondeau. And during that first round, I liked his movement. I liked, I liked his uh, footwork, his head movement. But after that, he uh, just seemed to lay low and uh, not move his head. And of course, it was, it was the fight was dirty. Rigo was doing some dirty tactics, tactics, but so was Lomachenko. Lomachenko was doing a lot of uh, behind the head shots. Uh, even I forgot what round, but uh, Lomachenko after the bell, like really after the bell, like a couple of seconds after the bell, uh, hit Rigandau. They both got mad, and you know, kind of that injury. I have no idea where that injury came from, but Lom Rigandau saying he's injured. And I really don't know where Rigo's going to go after this. I bet you a lot of fighters are like, oh man, I should have fought Regan now. Probably a lot of fighters are going to go after Regan now. But, yo, let, let's not forget that Regan now moved up in weight. And Rigo's still a dangerous fighter for anyone. Like, uh, anyone at 122, Magda, Magda Leno. Uh, anyone at 126, Santa Cruz, Mares, Frampton, Valdez. Sorry about that, guys. Watching uh, Tevin Farmer, and he just lost. Wow, I'm I'm really surprised. Uh, what did you guys think of the scorecards? Shoot, I might have to make a separate video on that fight. But shout out to Lomachenko. You know, another name on his resume. Lomachenko just keeps on getting better. He says that uh, this victory wasn't really all that because Brigandau was a small fighter, and that is true. But at the end of the day. The fans wanted to see it. Rigondeaux accepted. And it is what it is. Lomachenko won. Uh, you know, I just hope the people give uh, Lomachenko credit. And, you know, hopefully Rigo bounces back too. Uh, you know, like I said, there's still a lot of names out there for him. And with this performance, you know, people might actually want to fight him now. So, yeah, peace.